Commissioner Gordon. We've had a report of a break in at Wayne Tech. Reports of laughter and green gas. All right. Sounds like a certain someone. I'm already en route to Stryker's Island with our special suspect. Call in Detective Bullock. He can look into the break-in. Sure thing, boss. Enjoy Metropolis. Hmm. It's always sunny in Metropolis. Talk about your right side of the tracks. But even this place isn't without its problems. Hello? Commissioner Gordon. Officer, I'm expected. Is everything ready? Sure. I mean, um, <clears throat> yes, sir. Thank you, officer. Stay frosty. Good day, sir. Mmm, frosty. Oh. Normally, our precinct wouldn't ask for the help of someone with your reputation. But since you're the closest thing we have to an expert in these matters, I need to ask you what you make of this. The suspect was apprehended at a laboratory break-in. The lab belonged to an old colleague of yours, Mr. Luthor, Professor Ivo. Professor Ivo? I still fail to see what a break-in has to do with me. The good professor and you were mixed up with the Amazo Project. The android capable of stealing powers from superheroes. If our suspect has acquired similar abilities, they have the potential to become a huge threat. Maybe if you cooperate and decide if they're a danger, we could see about knocking a couple of decades off your sentence. Very well. I've no interest in yet another super-powered loser in the world. Who designed your costume? This one doesn't say anything. Commissioner! Someone stole my donuts and my uniform and... Oh, wait. There they are. What? <laughs> Hello, Mercy. Better late than never. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Oh, <clears throat> this is the point we escape. Come on, rookie. You're with Lex Luthor now, the greatest ever criminal mastermind. Are you sure about this? If nothing else, rookie will be excellent cannon fodder. Stop right there, Luthor. Ah, Superman. I'm guessing a campfire is missing an overgrown boy scout. <laughs> and Stryker's prison kitchen is missing one bald-headed pot washer. I chopped the vegetables now. Good for you. Now get back in your cell. I think not, Superman. I believe you've met... <gasps> Metallo? He's too unstable to be outside that cell. Unstable for you, perhaps. His kryptonite core doesn't bother me one bit. <laughs> Freedom! <laughs> now to get off this rock. Mm -hmm. You're not going anywhere. You really think you can stop me? <laughs> no, but we can. Oh, huh? Booyah! Not so fast, bad guys. Back off! The screen's my thing! Where's Batman? Said he had to take care of an emergency. Holly Quinn here, documenting another classic criminal caper! And now the star of this show, Mr. J! Uh, where is it? We just stole some neato stuff! Previously procured by Wayne Tech, Mr. J and I love a good Robin. Taken from all those suckers who are too honest to steal. <laughs> no, 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 it's not here. It's not here. Oh, come on, Pudding. Say something yeah. funny for a few ways. Oh, not now, Pumpkin. Can you see I'm busy? Here, take this. No. Ooh, pretty. Whatever it is. Nowhere to run, Joker. Relax! He'll never hit us from way up there! <laughs> Two with one shot. Not bad. <laughs> Say cheese, <laughs> me man! <laughs> <laughs> 
Sounds like you're out of time, Beth! Villains of villainy. Huh? Who are you? I am Ultraman, and these are my friends. The Justice Syndicate, Owlman, Superwoman, Grid, Johnny Quick, Power Ring, and Sea King. There's something really familiar about these guys. We're here to help. We come from a skip to the end. Joker's getting away. Your entire planet is in terrible danger due to a threat from our world. What threat? Us! Chasing crackers! You're not gonna believe this. Hey! Wait for me! People of Earth-1, we are the Justice Syndicate. We come from a parallel version of your world known as Earth-3. We're awesome, and we're here to help. Your Justice League have had to go on a mission in deep space. They asked us to watch over you while they are away. What? That's not what happened! Hmm? Uh. That's enough TV now, Harley. Too much is bad for your eyes. But Mr. J, I saw those new Justice Bozos make the old Justice Bozos vanish using some little doohickey thingy. Ugh, if I had my phone, I could show you. Shush, shush, shush. I'm still searching for my wonderful toy. Care to join us, Lex? I'd rather wear a wig. Besides, <laughs> I have matters to attend to in Metropolis. <sighs> oh. And thanks for the ride, Joker. Uh, uh, why do I never take the keys out of that thing? Yeah. Hey, Lois, I got it working. Sure, Jimmy, just give me a minute here. International award-winning reporter Miss Lois Lane hot on the heels of a... Uh, hot story. Hello? No, I'm trying to contact Jim Gordon, Commissioner Gordon. Would you quit bugging me with your new camera, Jimmy? Go and film Clark instead. Ooh, no can do, Lois. Clark hasn't shown up for work yet. It's not like Clark to be late. Uh, hello? Commissioner, hi, Lois Lane here, Daily Planet. Care to comment on the recent break-in at the Amazo Labs? Yes, Miss Lane. We're doing everything we can to... The prisoner we were transporting. Well, I can't comment on that. Yes, they are still at large. Not here, Harvey. Put it in huh? the vault. Miss Lane, I've got to go. I'm already late for my lunch with my daughter. Reporters. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Okay, go get our toys from the vault. Miss Quinn and I will meet you out back when you're done. Jump, jump! Sorry, Barbara. Lunch will have to wait. All units, code red. <laughs> Stop us today! Stop right there, you oh. oversized pile of mud! Ah! Oh, Batgirl! Nightwing! That evidence isn't going anywhere. 
Oh no, riddle me this. What has 10 lives and three faces? Uh, us. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We heard some of our old stuff was up for grabs. <laughs> 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 Chuckles, you got it back for me. Put it there. That's all you wanted? Well, I just felt so underdressed without it. Can I see your license, sir? Ah! Harley, the wipers! <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, I thought I'd fix that. Star Labs, the Galaxy Communications Gala, and now Arkham? The Justice Syndicate have let villains escape each and every time. These new heroes aren't quite filling the boots the League left behind. Say, why does Flash wear boots anyway? Aren't they kind of hard to run in? He should wear sneakers. It could be because the Justice Syndicate are Earth-3 heroes, not used to our Earth. Or perhaps our Earth-1 villains are too sneaky for them? There's something fishy about the Justice Syndicate, and I'm not just talking about Sea King. Uh, <laughs> Come on, Jimmy. Let's get back to work. The best place for us to be right now is the Planet Newsroom. So despite a couple of hiccups, the Galaxy Communications Tower is open for business. Reports of a breakout at Arkham have been greatly exaggerated, and our friends, the Justice Syndicate, are hot on the heels of the one or two villains that may still be at large. If we're meeting Gron in his palace, couldn't you have parked a little closer, Luthor? I don't want to startle the wildlife. Have you ever seen what a surprised ape can do? Softly, softly, catchy monkey. Grod's an ape, you fool. <laughs> Everybody relax. Grod has invited us, remember? This is going to be a walk in the park. Apes of Gorilla City, take us to your leader. <laughs> Greetings, oh great. Solovar? Who's this guy? Where's Grodd? Grodd has been banished from here. Gorilla City is now under my rule. Grodd was so specific, we had to meet him here. That is correct, Mr. Luther. Thank you for accepting my invitation. Solovar! I will vanquish you and take back my city! You're welcome to try. Clever, Grodd. Luring me out with your pets. Hey! Apes of Gorilla City, kneel before Grodd. <laughs> Gorilla City now belongs to me. Thank you for your help, Mr. Luther. It seems like we didn't have much choice. If you'd have known my plan, Solovar could have seen it in your thoughts and pulled it from your mind. <gasps> Regardless, should you ever require aid... Funny you should mention that. Uh, 